the video that you are now going to experience is an amazing experiment that we did with iPads, level 3 children, which means 5 year olds, sunflowers and Van Gogh. And it was an amazing experience. Most parents, when you tell them that we are going to be giving iPads to your children in kindergarten, feel, oh my God, iPads, children are only going to learn to play games or they may feel distracted or iPads means they are not, never going to be able to touch books again. Well, nothing like that happened at Podar Jumbo Kids. This video is going to show you how all round cross-curricular activities can be taught through an important tool, a technological tool like an iPad. It's a myth that iPads replace teachers. It's a myth that iPads replace books. If you plan the project well, if you execute it as a developmentally appropriate project, there is no way that it can ever replace a teacher or books. Watch this video and enjoy just like the children and how they enjoyed with all these activities with their iPad. We were excited to get our iPads. Swati ma'am introduced us to the parts of the iPad. We talked about how it does not have CPU or a keyboard. We then talked about how it needs to be charged. Swati ma'am asked us how our mummies charge us. Hello friends, today I am going to show you a famous sunflower painting. Have you seen this painting before? No! But I have seen it. Do you know who has painted this painting? Yes, it was painted by Vincent William Van Gogh. And I know he was a famous painter. Yes, and Sunflower is his famous painting. See this painting? Doesn't the Sunflower look real? Yes, and I know that Van Gogh was born in Netherlands. And he painted many beautiful paintings using beautiful colors. The painting has many beautiful colors. We tried to find them all in our iPaint app on our iPad. And then we learned about mixing different colors like yellow and blue give us green. We then became young. Van Gogh and drew our version of sunflowers. We even have a race. Who can draw the maximum number of sunflowers in 30 seconds? We then learn different facts about the sunflower. Like sunflowers love to move their heads and follow the sun. So we are now going to have fun becoming sunflowers and exercising our necks. Then used another app on our iPads and learn about parts of a plant and parts of flower and compared it to our body part. Our teacher then introduced us to a, a drama about sunflowers. It was very interesting. It had dialogue and a short ride. Each one of us was given some dialogues to remember. We took it home and memorized them. The next day, we were excited to get our iPads and we used another app. The app is iTalk and it helps us record our dialogues. We are sun class, we look like a sun. We had fun recording our dialogues. We then had fun snapping the drama and saying our dialogue. Teacher then introduced us to an animator who would make a sunflower painting, dance and move and put our dialogues in the animated clip so that we can have our own sunflower movie. We then explored 
a unique app called the Sunflower Van Gogh app and learn more about the painting and sunflowers. We then referred encyclopedias and books, find sunflowers and other flowers. We enjoyed this iPad Sunflower project as we explored many interesting apps on the iPad. Yo mommy daddy, it is so much fun when I can use the iPad for such interesting activity. Yes, please help me use iPads intelligently at home too. Playing games on the iPad, it's not very smart. And yes, I should use iPad only for 20 minutes at a time. Do you know how many things we learned in this project? Yes, our speech and language skills were developed. We use our fingers to develop eye-hand coordination. We learned about colors and color mixing. We learned about body parts. So our general knowledge improved. We use books, paper, crayons and iPad so we had fun with all kind of learning mediums. Most importantly, we learned about Van Gogh and what lovely paintings he makes. We danced. We learned dialogues and did a drama. And we created our own animated film complete with voiceover. This is called learning in a full circle. We are sunflower, we look like a sun. Grow in the field, we have lots of fun. Radiant and shining are we, brown in the center, with our petals of flaming gold. Our stems and leaves are glinting green, indeed so beautiful to behold. Playing with the sun, our friends, moving our flower heads in glee. Adding cheers and happiness, spikely and mobile army. We grow wildly in grey or banded. We also cultivate it for many uses. We have much, much to, to give, give the world, always reaching out more excuses. We are taller than grass and shorter than trees. We have many friends, our best friends are bees. Insects visit us a lot and then they go home. Even though they leave, we are not alone. We have each other. As you can see, we are a happy flower family. Wasn't that an amazing video? Yes. Isn't this exactly how children should be exposed to media and technology? Technology also needs to be developmentally appropriate. And as a member of the National Association for the Education of Young Children, we are very proud that everything that we do at Jumbo Kids is based on research. A big thanks to Young Children magazine National Association for the Education of Young Children and to the World Forum Foundation that help us understand the latest in technology, in children's research and how developmentally appropriate curriculums can be implemented at Podar Jambu Kids. We made this video so that parents can extend this kind of learning at home. So enjoy iPads with your children and extend they are learning of the art, science, drama and language further with the use of iPads. All the best.